What's up, creators? This is John Fuentes. Welcome back to Big Films, the home of action-packed blockbuster filmmaking. For all those using PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to import our VFX packs into your editing software, how to organize it, and apply it to your timeline. So let's get to it. Hey guys, thanks for joining me here, and welcome to Big Films' first tutorial in PowerDirector. Today we're going to discuss how you import, organize, and save the Big Films VFX files and your movie files into PowerDirector from your media hard drive. If you are new to editing, today is a great opportunity to learn uh, a fundamental step in your workflow that's going to make your post-production life a whole lot easier as you edit the movie that you want to see. So let's get started. I just want to bring your attention to the screen real quick. You're going to see here is my master folder. You'll see where I'll be dragging a lot of stuff from this folder into PowerDirector. This is where I have all my media assets living and everything. So I recommend that um, this is something that you might want to do here. Okay, so back to PowerDirector here. As you can see in PowerDirector, we have a lot of um, assets in this project window. This project window here is called the media content. So PowerDirector a lot brings you a lot of stock footage and sounds and images that you can already start practicing with in your editing or even use for your content that you want to edit, like the things that you want to do. As you can see here, they have a lot of different um, options here, which is pretty cool. You know, um, my only issue with some of this is that when you import your media, it imports into the media content and it mixes in with a lot of this stuff here. So, of course, you know, if you want to delete these things here, you can. But we're going to show you a really cool way how to organize your files so it's nice and easy to find when you're editing your movie. So, you see down here we have a tag. This tag here is really cool. You have a plus sign, and when you click on that, it opens up where you can create a new tag. And this new tag, let's call this movie files. Okay. What we're doing here is creating individual folders for each important ad set that's going to piece together your movie. So in this case, we have our movie files. Let's create one for our VFX. Let's call that v Big Films VFX. Uh, let's make another one called Sound Effects SFX. Right? You can you can continue going down here, creating one for your audio, one for graphics, one for photos, like whatever it, you're going to be using to edit your film. You want to create an individual folder for each of them, so that's easy to find. And in editing, organizing is the most important thing as you're going through your post production. All right. So now that we created our movie folder, let's import our movie. So I'm going to arc back to my master folder here. Let me just go like that. Well, you can see here in my video files folder, I have my Thunder God here. And um, going that, you can hit your space bar to preview your clip. Like, oh, yeah, that's right. We went out to the field. We shot Thor. There we go. That's our boy here. He looks like Prince Hemsworth, but not. But he's cool. That's my man, Special K. And he's a lot of fun. Really good actor, too. We can drag and drop this into our project folder just like that. And as you can see in our movie files folder, our two elements appears here, right? Now let's check this out. What if we went back to our media content folder? And then you can see as you scroll through this, you can see these two video movie clips mixed in with the other stuff, right? So let's say like, oh man, you know, like you're in this folder and you cannot find your stuff or there's just so many things. Imagine if we had 40 clips from our movie, right? So um, you, these tabs, PowerDirector is really cool. They give these little tabs up here where you can isolate your different items that's in the media content folder, for example. Let's click on that and you can see where now it's, it's just gonna show you anything that's just a JPEG or maybe a PNG photo, something like that, or graphic. Uh, we click on our, our music icon and it'll bring up anything that's MP3 here, like from all your music, sound of, um, scores and stuff like that. Sound effects will show up in here. And let's click on this one. This is for your film. Whatever is video, it will just show you what's video. So it helps sort of like eliminate some of the stuff that you don't want to look at when you're editing your, your film. But what's easier is just having your folder, as you can see. So as you can see here, now we want to think about when it comes to the VFX, what kind of movie are we making here? What, what kind of effects do we need to create this Thor scene? 
So the first thing that comes to mind is thunder and lightning, right? So in the big films collection, that's that's something that will be in our blockbuster starter pack. So when we import our effects into our big films VFX, you know, we don't have to import the entire like folder of the blockbuster starter pack that you see we have here. So we click on our blockbuster starter pack, go to effects, and you can see we have all of these different um, visual effects here that can be made for a lot of great films. So, you know, for me, I just need the lightning, right? I mean, if you're doing your own Thor scene, you can have meteors and bullets flying down because Thor, you know, he'll destroy them all anyway. But let's just focus on our electricity right here, right? So here we can have our folder and we like say, let's see what we got. You know, um, I'm not sure which video, which um, clip that I want to use as an effect. So we can just bring them all in to our effects folder. So we bring them in just like that. And you see how nice and fast they import it and your vfx folder jumps up to 21 items here and i can scroll through here and you can see like okay i got all my electricity stuff here now same thing again right let's say we go back to our media content and you can see it's all imports here too so it's sort of like kind of gives it a, a collection of everything that's in your media um in power director in your media folder here and um, so again, we can isolate it to see what's going on here. Like, okay, boom. But, let, but now that it's here, it makes it cleaner and better to, and easy to find, okay? Now, we did all this and we want to save our project, right? Now, this is where also your master folder becomes really important too. So you want to click on saving your project. You want to save your project as, and you're going to pick a folder for that. So for me, it'll be my master folder. I'll go to my edit file folders. As you can see here, I have a lot of different editing softwares. In this case, we have Power Director, and we're gonna call this one Thunder God. And we'll press save, boom, right? So why this is important that it's all in the same folder is because let's say I'm editing my movie and something comes up and I wanna get back to it later, right? So I wanna close Power Director, so I close it. And then like later comes, and I'm like, okay, let me get back to my edits. And I did all that work and saving all the files and everything. So we go back to our edit folder, go back to our power director folder, and we click on our Thunder God here. And the, the great thing about saving everything to your master folder is that when it opens back up, all your elements are right where you left it, where you saved it in your individual folders here. So you don't have to re-import or relink or try to find something that might be lost and might say missing media because maybe this file was on your desktop and these files is in a, on a hard drive, right? Your movie files is on a different folder somewhere in your desktop. You know, um, so you want to just have everything living in one master folder. So when PowerDirect is looking for the links to them, it finds it easily and it's all here. And your, the hard stuff is already done. So this is how you save your VFX files, your movie files and power director to your media hard drive, you know, and our next tutorial guys, we're going to teach you and show you how to edit with our VFX here and um, create more dynamic scenes like you see in our promo videos, how to apply those effects to your scenes to kind of upgrade your production quality, um, create the movies that you want to see and um, becoming an action-packed blockbuster filmmaker here you know so we really hope that you stay tuned for the next ones um, we want to thank you so much for for sticking it out with us and we're gonna out there filming new content and we're gonna create a lot of tutorials on how to create these awesome scenes and have the VFX interact with your main footage organically okay guys so we look forward to seeing you in the future. Thanks so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video, and go out there and make big films. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Really hope that you had a chance to learn how to import and organize your VFX files into PowerDirector. Make sure you click on the subscribe button, like, and the bell icon so you can be alerted when we release the new one. Always remember the three cardinal rules of filmmaking. You are what you write, you are what you shoot, and you are what you edit. So with that said, go out there and make big films. See you soon.